Okay, hello and welcome back to another jet to go video. So today we are looking at the instruments in a glider. So here is the Aster, and I'm just going to show you uh, what the instruments are and just how a glider kind of flies and how the instruments work. So here we have the main panel display around here. I've just got a chest mount on. And as you can see, over here we have an ASI, which is airspeed indicator. In the middle here we have a, um, an artificial, what do you call it? Oh, I've forgotten the name of this instrument. It's an operative anyway. It just basically tells you of your level with the ground. Uh, this is our altimeter. So you can set the subscale there to your parabolic pressure outside. At the minute I've got set to QFE, which means height above the airfield. So in this instance, it's zero. However, if you're in H, I'd set it 118 feet above sea level for Q and H. Down here, we have the Vario. So if I switch the main panel on here, and I can turn it on, there we go. So you can select a lot of different settings here, switching from volt and temperature, which is the outside air temperature, to the Vario, uh, the average, um, thermal lift, and there's some other ones down there at the bottom, but I only really use Vario. So you can switch it off. Down there we have the radio, so I can contact anyone on the correct frequency of 129.0 for ground, or 121.5 for an emergency. And down there we have accelerometer measuring g-force. So here we have a stick, so that just controls the ailerons and the elevator. And at the front here we have our rudder, so that's full left, that's full right. Over here we have a gear stick, so move it up and the gear will retract under there. And here we have our straps so you can secure ourselves in. And there's a battery. And we have a DR logbook, which is just daily inspection to make sure the aircraft is safe to fly. Over here we have our air brakes, actually open those. There we go. So they basically, um, they spoil the lift, so you come down quickly. It just increases, decreases the angle of attack a lot. Right, and now we have our trim. So I can hold this lever here, set trim full forward, trim full backwards, and that's basically help you stabilizing the flight. Um, in terms of how everything works, well, an altimeter basically has a set pressure in these pads. Um, I'll put a diagram on, and when you climb higher, pressure decreases. So uh, those, pre those pads expand and they turn the cog around, and that increases the altitude. Um, here we have our radio panel, it's PTP, which means push to torque. And over here we have water ballast if we have any in the aircraft. And there we go, there's just a radio and microphone you speak into. So, in terms of that, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick video just showing the grinder instruments and I'll see you in another one. Cheers, you guys.